Only I'm so monato Find myself fickle Find my little super ya Only I'm so naive for ya Head up to the only, only my fear, fear ya Praise God. While we're waiting, uh, 
just have a chat between ourselves um, or that side of our family that don't know uh, a lot about us uh, over here is uh, Melinda, our oldest daughter. Um, she was the one that was hiding last night in the corner playing the keyboard while we were singing. The other one that's just gone outside is Yolanda, the second oldest. Um, and uh, at the back, Miss Sipper, our cousin, and uh, her husband's have a Leo, Savi. Praise God. We're good to go, say. We have to make a start, family, because um, we're governed by the one hour that we're given by uh, the regulations and by the funeral place. So, uh, unfortunately, we are not on uh, in or some on times today, <laughs> where we where we can do whatever we want. It would have been so nice uh, to have all our families here, uh, but. Uh, because of the regulations and the restrictions that we have, let's just enjoy um, the moments and, and the fact that we are here to represent our, our two families. So I greet you this morning in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, um, starting especially from Ruby and, and the kids, that side of our, our family, our Tongan family. Um, uh, it's awesome to to be able to be here this morning to continue with the uh, service, burial service for Enari and towards the end of our uh, preparations for the rest of his time on this earth, uh, which started earlier this week. As you know, uh, it's been a trying time uh, for all of us. But uh, as I said last night in the Word of God, we need to go through the process you can, we can't walk around the mountain of the challenge of our lives. We need to break through. And uh, sometimes the easiest and the best way to break through is to break through as a family, hand in hand, supporting each other as we had done throughout the last few days and this week. And that's been an awesome situation. So um, welcome to, to uh, this sanctuary where we are. Uh, it's not normal, it's not often that we come together like this, but here we are for uh, the sake of uh, Enari and his last day, so uh, uh, let's enjoy it. I know it's on live stream, so I welcome our families that are viewing from wherever you are this morning, around the globe and also around New Zealand, uh, Samoa, our families, and also in Tonga. Um, this uh, passing um, is... Uh, uh, has uh, created ripples throughout our families. and uh, But let's enjoy the moment and uh, the memories that we have of Inari. So without further ado, I will hand it over to that side of our family. I spoke with Saya, so we've got a couple of hymns this morning. So the first one, uh, if you can sing a song or a hymn this morning. And if we know, we'll all join in. Amen? Amen. So we'll start with that. A simple program. There's no, There's no program that's wrong or right okay so let's start with that I'll, normally i'll start with a prayer but for me it doesn't matter how we do it uh we we just want to acknowledge the presence of god within this place and we'll put it first in everything that we do it's great to be christians and having god in our lives so let's continue this start with the hymn and then i'll lead us off in prayer praise the lord amen plan to sing this morning, it says that this world is not our home. Mm -hmm. We know for sure that Henry is in heaven with us. Mm -hmm. That after we sing this song, <clears throat> and we invite you all to sing together with us. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's only a tongue and version, there's no sound more. <laughs> but we, as you say, fight the owl, this, we, we try our very best. Amen. Anyway, <clears throat> we sing together. Just 
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come into the sanctuary this morning as we prepare for the final service uh, for Inari, and we thank you for last night. We uh, had an opportunity to rest and have a good sleep, so we come this morning. Uh, and preparation for his final service. We honor you and acknowledge your presence, your grace and your mercy and your blessings upon our families, um, your uh, comforting spirit over all of us, especially Ruby and the children. And uh, we welcome your presence this morning as we continue with our service from the start until the finish. And we ask you to continue to bring comfort to our extended family from wherever they are from wherever they're viewing and watching this morning and uh, through the power of the holy spirit your holy spirit to touch their hearts and give them comfort this morning uh, we honor you and bless your name jesus and uh, with your anointing we uh, uh, commit this service to you from the start until finish and uh, your protection upon us from here until we uh, head over to Waikamere uh, uh, Cemetery this morning. Uh, we thank you for your uh, healing upon our spirits and our hearts and uh, bringing comfort to the pain that we have and, and uh, you acknowledge uh, the, the tears that we experience and we thank you. Uh, we continue to honor your name. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Now, I was given a chance by uh, our... A leader that's organizing all of this, uh, Brother Saya, to uh, prepare a eulogy and just say a few things for um, uh, Enari. Um, 
we, uh, our, 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 for this side of our family, uh, we all come from a very, very close-knit family. Now, Samoans and Tongans are exactly the same. It doesn't matter where your uncle or auntie, the minute you see an elder, you look at them as a father figure. Uh, the minute you see an auntie, you look at them as a mother figure and you treat them accordingly with a lot of respect. So that's, that's our family. We grew up like that. Uh, and uh, whether it's a Nari's dad or my mom or, or Mesipa's dad or her mom, uh, we treated all the elders as moms and dads and us instead of cousins. I mean, Enari is my cousin, Mesipa is my cousin, but I'd rather call him brother because that's how we were brought up. In fact, we're closer as brothers than most families I know. I'm not trying to, you know, down uh, a size or, or put down any other, other, other family, or, but... We were very, very close, and Mesepa were very close, like brother and sister, and all our siblings and all our, our generations. So he grew up in a very close-knit family. Um, his dad died when he was young. Um, as you know, our, our grandfather was an occult name, so he was Chinese. Uh, somehow he, he got booted out of China, I think. No, no. It, he came from China, came from Samoa, ended up marrying our grandmother. And Missy Moore, and now his dad, was a tall, beautiful, handsome young man, or man, my uncle. And uh, his uh, ways uh, were sort of mirrored by Nari. His quietness and that uh, beautiful smile was what he inherited from his dad. Now, uh, Nari was very much like his father. Had a good smile, friendly and helpful, very honest giving with a, a helpful heart. And uh, Moana said it this week and last night again, um, your dad and Nari would give his shirt off his back for anybody. And uh, I know him, he would give his last dollar, whatever's left in his, his pocket, he would give it for the, the next person, whether he knows the person or not. He's an achiever in his own right. If he set his mind to something, he will achieve it, he will reach it. And... Uh, I remember the day he came home, and it says, I've got a girlfriend. And so I said, oh, yeah. Uh, what's her name? It's usually that's the first thing we ask. What's her name? Ruby. Oh, nice name. <laughs> so where's she from? Uh, actually, she's Tongan. And automatically, I, you know, the very next question that comes to you, why a Tongan? And in his own special way, not one single word, just that smile. And the way we know him, the way we've known his father, is that that one smile meant a million words. It was more than enough to give us the okay. He was a sportsman, and known to many, he was a marathon runner. He actually organized with his two cousins, once again known as brother, uh, Mitsipa's younger brothers. One is exactly the same age as me, so about 21, I mean, the uh, <laughs> yeah, same age as me, and then the next one down. So the two uh, brothers and Enari, they made a pact to run the Samoan Marathon, which is a, quite a long marathon. So too far, one, or Leva, the next one, won the next marathon. I think the next one, Enari would have won, but he came to New Zealand. <laughs> well, I want to use that as an excuse. <laughs> um, he was a very happy person. Not a lot of emotions, as you see. His smile was more than enough. For many of us, you can tell when you're not happy, when you're angry. You can tell with a frown on your face. You can tell with your body language. But with Enari, what you see is what you get. It covers everything. He would never take advantage of anybody or plan to do anything unlawful. He respected all, and he expected the same in return. His family, our whole extended family, meant the world to him. Ruby and the children... Maybe he didn't say it much. 
He didn't say enough, or maybe he didn't say it at all. At all. But being a man of very few words, and being the type of man that he was, what can I say? He was a very proud man of you guys. He used to come over and he used to tell me about how his boys are doing in sports. So I used to say to him, oh yeah, so they're doing much better than you then. <laughs> that was our way of joking. Have you ever heard of the expression, you have to watch out for the quiet ones? <laughs> well, that saying is true and correct. While he gave a lot of respect and never tried to take advantage of anybody, he would never back down, ever, if he was ever challenged. He would take on anybody, and I mean anybody, to defend his honor, to defend his family, to defend his wife and his children. We will all miss him. Ruby, may I please take this opportunity on behalf of our family to thank you. I thank you for falling in love with a young man, wide-eyed, coming from Samoa, expect, expecting to conquer the world in his own way. He was ambitious, and he knew that love had no boundaries. Through your love for Inari, he was accepted into your beautiful Tongan family. And this week, one of the biggest and the best compliments that I ever heard is that he was best mates with your dad. That, to me, spoke volumes. That spoke volumes about the brother at the end, hurry, I know. You have both been blessed with wonderful and beautiful children, who the Bible says in Psalm 128, verse 3, your children are like olive shoots around your table. Mm -hmm. Just this morning, I researched what that meant. When the olive tree grows, as like our tower trees, plants, and all the trees, there will be little shoots around that will grow around that olive tree. And I was wondering, why olive tree? Out of all the plants in the world, the psalmist says, your children, Ruby, will be like olive trees around your table. What that actually means is that when the olive tree is unstable, then those little ones that grow around the olive tree will bring stability and comfort and growth to the main tree in the middle. Ruby... Your table is surrounded by the olive shoots. The Bible says those are your children. When our home is shaken, when there's pain in there, when we're a little unstable, those olive shoots, starting with Henry that's a lot taller than me, those olive shoots around the table will continue to bring stability to your home. And your family. You know he's gone. We can't change that. But life goes on. Let's continue to go through the process. The Bible says there is nothing in this world, nothing at all, that can ever separate you from the love of God. Nothing at all. We love you so much. And may God continue to bless you and the children and our whole extended family. I am so proud and so happy to know that I have a Tongan family. <laughs> God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now here's an opportunity now for the children. All yours. Hello. Oh. 
Hey guys, um, Henry and Mary Harko, um, my dad's older son. Um, I'm just like my dad, um, quiet, we're in our own family. Um, yeah. I don't know how to exp I don't know. Um, yeah, my dad's all just a little, uh, um, yeah, I'm just like dad, but I want to thank my dad for always being there for me. Um, and through my bad times in life, um, you know, me getting locked up and stuff, and Dad's always there. First one to pick me up, um, always grieving me and supporting me. Um, Dad's always told me how to, you know, how to be hard. Um, me and my dad always in a spirit. And uh, talking about his dad and some more. Um, I told that I've always wanted to meet, uh, miss him more. But um, yeah, it is what it is. But I told that I'll, yeah, I'll always remain the court so, side of things. Um, uh, you know, that's how to express that. You know, but that's been my best friend. I, I don't know how to explain it, but. <laughs> um, wherever I go, Dad always want to know where I, where I go. Um, every time I come home from work, I have a lot of friends wanting to catch up. You know, when I used to work in the night clubs, in the rugby, everything, I've always had friends that wanted to catch up, but Dad was always thinking me. Well, I'm pretty much my best friend. Um, Dad was always there. Making sure I was doing doing good, not doing bad. And um, so many more things to say. I just did not express it. I just they taught me how to how to be. Um, I was a bit hot headed, a bit young, but then me me hanging around with that taught me the way to be humble and you know, be, be nice to people and. You know, taught me how to do you know, door work. When I used to do doors in Roxy, I used to get aggressive, get locked up, get locked up during work for work. But my dad taught me how to how to you know, de-escalate situations. Um, you know, um, how to be a security guard. What I am now, I'm wearing a COA. Man, my COA. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Got a, uh, my dad knows a lot of people talk talk about me in the, in the nightclubs, but I told him I got that from my dad's so side, from the night. <laughs> you know, um, how to be strong. And um, everyone in Auckland City that knows me, uh, number one bouncer at Roxy. That's, that's my dad from, from there. He told me, told me how to be strong and told me how to love my mum and my family. Especially my family, and um, I've always thought uh, they've always wanted to take me to learn her so, um, so I'm also, but I'm always too shy to come here. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see. rest in peace, Dad. Love you my heart, and um, yeah, I'd just like to thank you everyone here. And yeah, that's about it. Love you, Dad. Hi everyone, what up? Before I say my good, before I say my farewell, I just want to say that it's not going to be the same at home. I know he's quiet, everyone knows I'm as quiet, but at home, 
He's Lord. <laughs> yeah, no. We all gonna miss you. No, we have. We all had our own bond. My bond was different from my siblings. No, I think I'm like my dad. I always like to keep stuff away. Always just smile. Now that no, you're no, no, long, no longer in pain. Well, you'll always be with me. And all of us. When we look, when we are down to rest, I always think of you. I just want to say I love you, Dad. I really mean it. Thank you. Hi everyone. I'm Harry's youngest daughter. Um, just to make it clear, I am the favorite. <laughs> okay. Dad had the most generous and caring heart. A thousand books couldn't be enough to express the way he was and the way we knew him. Dad instilled on us the importance of following our hearts and allowing God to direct our path. He brought light and laughter into our lives, and we will be eternally thankful for all that he has done for our family and friends. A man who never says no and continue, continue doing what he needs to do is considered a hardworking man, and that was our dad. He provided the foundation of strength, wisdom, and hope so that we, meet, so that we may build dreams upon it. You deserve Best Father of the Year and other years too. Thank you a million times and another million after that and another after that. <laughs> we love you so much, Dad. It's not goodbye, but see you next time. Thank you. Hello everyone, um, my name is Moana Arcot and I'm Inari's third child out of four and I'm the oldest daughter. Um, I want to take this special moment to turn my thoughts to dad and thank him from the home, for the home he gave and for all the things we had. We think about the fleeting years, too quickly, gone for good, it seems like only yesterday I'd go back if I could. A time when dad was always there, no matter the weather, always strong when things went wrong, he held our lives together. He strived so hard from day to day and never once complained. With steady hands, he worked so hard and kept the family name. Mm -hmm. He taught us that hard work pays off, you reap what you sow. He said that if you tend your crops, your field will overflow. My life has been bountiful. He taught me how to give, in his firm and steadfast way, he taught me how to live. Dad dwells among the angels now. He left us too soon. He glides across a golden field above the harvest moon. I see him in the summer rain. He rides upon the wind. And when my path is beaten down, he picks me up again. Dad, I miss you so much. My heart is aching. But I know we will cross paths pass again. You did fight a good fight and you won the race because you get to reunite with your father and sister in heaven. Dad, I know you're proud of me and don't worry, I'm not done. I will look after mum and look out for my siblings, which I know is what you really want. <laughs> Dad, please come visit me and my dreams are waiting for you. Until then, when we alone, Dad, I love you so much. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Well said, um, guys. Henry, Greg, Tatiana, and, and Juana. It's obvious by just listening and, and watching you guys. Uh, we can see what your dad has instilled in your lives. And um, they say, as we grow up, that what we become is how we've been brought up. And uh, I thank uh, uh, Ruby and Inari for the great work that his, or they've done, investing their times and their uh, efforts in bringing you, you guys up uh, in the way uh, that they saw best. And, uh, you know, they've brought up some great, great children. So my uh, advice and my recommendation uh, is that you continue to walk in, in that path and continue to, in honor of your father and, and your mom and your whole family, our whole family, because what we want to see is we want to see you succeed. That, that's what he would have loved to see you guys succeed in your chosen profession and your career paths and uh, do your mom good and do her proud and uh, continue to support your family. God will continue to be uh, there for us as I mentioned last night in the Word of God and you have the support of your extended family all around you. Now, as I mentioned before on Tuesday, We've been so busy with our own lives, and it's not a bad thing because we're trying to achieve our own goals. But, um, you know, I could not believe that even you guys living in Utah and we're living in Papatoy and we haven't had a lot of time to see each other. Um, we have an open door policy. Our address is 237 Puinu Road, Papatoy. <coughs> Please don't be a stranger. I will get your address. Uh, uh, after this, and uh, we want to continue to to um, keep in contact, knowing that we are Fano, we are a family, we are blood family, relatives, and we are one. Not only as family, but in the eyes of God, we are one, and we will continue to support each other. Anytime you need assistance, any any help, we are there for you guys. And I'm sure it's the same with Saya and the, the whole of our extended family and everybody that's here today and everybody that is listening. It's been an honor to be involved with the final service for Inari over the last few days. And uh, we are heading to a close here. And we still have about 15 minutes uh, to go. Uh, uh, I still want to give the chance to anybody who wants to say something. Uh, Ruby, if you, want, you, you might want to say something, up to you. You can do it in Tongan, uh, Samoan, or uh, doing it in English or doing it in Chinese? I mean, uh, <laughs> you know that your husband was part Chinese, so en entirely up to you. I don't know how much Samoan or Chinese you've learned, but entirely up to you. Uh, if not, entirely up to you. We have so much respect for you at this uh, uh, time that we're all going through. But it's great to see a smile on our faces. You know, we wake up in the morning, it's a new day, new beginning, a new start, new season. And that's what God would always have in store for us. Sometimes we go to sleep at night not knowing what the answer is. It's amazing. Just for with a few words of prayer, you get up in the morning and you know the answer already. That's how great and how awesome our God is. So I just want to give an opportunity again. Anybody want to say something or maybe a few words? And uh, then about 10 to, then we will close. To close it.
My name is Kelela Vaili. I'm Ruby's um, auntie. I'm the youngest sister of her mum, and I'm the only one to survive. And uh, on behalf of Lupi and the children, I would like to say thank you all for being, um, coming to an event. She's, you know, she's like, she's very shy, <laughs> and it's hard to get something out of her. <laughs> yeah. Or oh, Enari, Mato, Maftanga, my Enari, Eselel, Anga, Malu, Malu, Kelele, Lea. Sorry for some more. Malu <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah, Fafi Taila, but man, nay, um, sorry. Ole, Gami Momuanga, Kako Filo, aye, Lea song of I Pupo, aye, Lopi Mainari, I think it, you know, Mauta, you know, on that day. And now, since then, I think both of us, you know, <laughs> we'll see you guys again. <laughs> Anyway, Fafetai lava, Mali Neyaso, Mali Fafetai lava. You're welcome. Okay. Fafetai lava, no, I didn't know I was going to. Um, so I'm a little bit. I'm. As um, Pastor said before, we're all cousins, sisters, brothers. But you can see uh, there's the Chinese side that are called, and you are wondering where the black side is from. <laughs> <coughs> Our Mama Lotoa married the Akot, when he called Akot, and then uh, Missy Moore, and now his father, when his mum, and others. And then he passed on, and she married my grandfather. Uh, it's a Philippe Pevara, and that's where my line is. Um, but they grew up together, our parents. Mm. Very, very close. No such thing as half brothers, half sisters. They were like that. Mm. And the same with us when we grew up. As I don't want to be long, um, everybody said he's not a man of many words. But his actions speak louder. He he loves from the heart. It's a genuine love. Uh, he's caring. He's a family person. Henry and Gregory, uh, Tatiana and one. Maybe he didn't say it so much, mm. but he talks about you guys. Yes, in a good way, especially you, Henry. <laughs> when he comes, he, he comes to our sister's, Lucilla's house, a lot on Sunday for the taro and the, you know. And he talks about you children. He loves you guys very much. And he is so proud of you guys. And I said to him, then why do you never tell us about family things in your Tongan side or family like mm. birthdays, weddings, are you, uh, what's the word? Ashamed. Are you ashamed of us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, and Ari's like, he doesn't, we don't, so I'm sorry guys for not being there at your birthdays or celebrations. Uh, as Pastor said, those times are gone. And uh, even though Inari will be gone, um, but his legacy will live on. Mm. Stupid. Mm. We are not just saying we love you. We do honest. Mm. 
there's a little thing. I've got a, a tongue and free. And I love speaking your language. I understand a little bit. There's a little bit I want to say to you, Ruby and kids. Can you see your rupee more far now? Mo ofala hiya tu kia koi? Mo far now? I he fai na ta? Koto hotau lo to fale? Faka malo atu? Fai hotau? Fa tonga kia henari? Lo kotonga? Taini whainga taa. Whakatau wangi. Ke whakapulu pulu. Aki koe ha nonga. Moha fie malie. Ofa lahi atu. Kua mautolu. Kia mautolu. Ofa atu moe lotu. Ah. Yes. Uh, it's his last few minutes. He will be gone from this earth, but he will forever live in our hearts. Manuia la malanga enari, ato te alu lofa te limo oi, ole ali ngalo oi. Thank you, Emmy. Thank you, everyone. Well done, well done. I uh, came to New Zealand when I was young and I grew up with a lot of Tongan friends, but I didn't have the luxury of learning the language. Uh, but I was sitting there smiling as we heard uh, Auntie's uh, testimony and uh, talking about Ruby and, 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 uh, and Nari. It's amazing how two people find each other because for every single person under the sun there's that special person that God has prepared for you. Now I'm sitting here smiling because Enari is quiet, Ruby is quiet. And then Greg comes up here and says it's noisy in their house. There you go. There you go. I mean two quiet people find love, come together, they've got a beautiful family, and uh, there's God for you. Only God can do that. So we rejoice in the memories of Inari, her brother, husband, father, uncle, son. He's a wonderful person, and he leaves, he leaves with us some great memories. I wasn't uh, aware that my children could come today. And when they said they were coming, I wasn't even aware that they would be allowed inside because of the numbers. So we thank Fiona and the team uh, for allowing them to come in. But I would like to sing. We've got a, a last song before we close. Can you guys come up? We'll, we'll sing the song. Uh, uh, <laughs> Olelangi Matango Fiatele, yeah? I haven't played a guitar for a long time. Um, no, that's okay. We'll sing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving we'll guys. We'll, uh, words of the song. Heaven sounding sweet. Ole langi e matango fietele uata uamai le au angelu olo pepe se ma alala ngai. Ooh. 
Matoya ina Olo olafu Ola to pali Vivi atu Mafane ne Ile sili sili ese Ole langi Emma tango fie Itay mi uma lava Ele to tangi Beto e malingi Oni lo e mata Awa Ole no fo ali Ole Matang of fear, it's a meal, my lava. Oh, heaven, sounding sweeter all the time. It seems like lately you're always. On my mind Oh, someday I'm gonna leave this world behind Heaven Sounding sweeter Now we've got uh, five minutes before our time ends. I am not going to close off in prayer. Uh, usually how I run a service is that the final prayer would be at the uh, cemetery. So I'll leave it up to Sire. Uh, for the end of our program here and also for the arrangements with uh, the funeral place. Uh, whenever you're ready, uh, hold yours. Thank you, Pastor. So, uh, okay. so we have to be at the cemetery by 2.30 because it's not a funeral. Mm -hmm. But we will uh, leave now and we go for you uh, home. And thank you to Fiona for We'll lead through that and then straight to the symmetry from there as well. Amen. And we'll, we'll do um, just an idea, uh, Pastor, if we could um, have a um, send off uh, a hymn while he's going down. Um, then we can get um, the hymn in as well. Get the symmetry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can no. send while yeah. we're taking him down. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. yeah. No problem. Very good. Is it more?
sua na unili watu nikia e we love ina ene fia fia i saw it little bula for ia holo wala fa wala ile ni manu I'm 
שאימא לשפון לוח, ופה ביי ללף יפי, המי מרוע יואווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווו
sao so a fight down we to lie only at a fa only at a
Vata Vata Uli Taya Uli Faina Ta Uli Ta Uso Ua Faita Ui Tula Uli Ata Faa Mama Uli Ata Faa Tofa Ia Tofi Mala Uli Faina Mala Ay, sa iyo mo ay napingin ang fanaw 
mama for I love my love for I love my love
Solo 
Watch your step, eh, guys. Look, take it easy. Watch your step, eh? Just, just watch it slowly, slowly, slowly. Just take your time, Henry. What are you doing? Step on it, yeah. Don't, don't step. No, Henry, don't step on it. Just, yeah. On the wood. Step, 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 on the wood down there. On the wood, on the wood. On the wood. On the wood. Step down the wood. Wait, hold it there. Hold it. The wood. Hold, hold it there. Come down. Step on that wood. That wood down there? Yeah, yeah. that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Down, 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 slowly. Back, back a little bit. Back a little bit. Back a little bit. Yeah. Down, down. Yeah. 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 Me sepa ma savelio re la ve i ngumela ya o kengela me ku ma me us mel pesing. Okay. All right. Go. the guys here to uh, come and sing a hymn, please, the hymn that you wanted to sing.
you can, people, just two meters away from each other while you're standing here, right? Okay. 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 All right, we're going to start our final service for the burial of Fenari. Uh, despite all the restrictions, let's uh, continue to honor God uh, at this uh, moment in time. Last night I was checking the weather and it said it was going to be heavy rain today. But look at this. There's God for you. A lot of our families and friends have been praying for this day. And look at this beautiful day. That's only possible with God. And as I said last night, let's continue to go through the process. As hard as it may be, um, with a lot of love in my heart, uh, my heart goes out to our families that are standing around. This is not us. This is not our way of life. But hey, let's, let's continue to honor what God has done for our families and through the life of this uh, gentleman in our so without further ado, I'll uh, hand it to our, our team to sing the song for us, please. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Well done, son. Well done. Thank you. And turn that switch on again. Yeah. Keep going. That's fine. Yeah. Love you, boy. For the soul of our beloved Inari is no longer with him. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. 
looking forward to that glorious and blessed hope of abundant life in heaven through the forgiveness available to us all only in the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of God continue to be upon our whole family here in New Zealand and afar, and especially Ruby and the children. And may we acknowledge the leading of the Holy Spirit in our lives as we move forward in His grace. Let us close in prayer. Father, we thank you. We come to this end of our program in the last few days and our week of mourning. It was unexpected, but we thank you for your comforting Holy Spirit that throughout this period and these days we've been able to cope and we've been able to get through and break through with the power of your Holy Spirit and your anointing upon our lives. We continue to ask you for your comforting spirit upon our whole family, us that are here right now standing on this uh, ground and also our families that are standing around and witnessing this uh, final moment for Anari's life. Also our families from all around the world that are witnessing this special moment. We continue to thank you and honor you, God, for the life of our brother, our father, uncle, or friend. And uh, we thank you for the days ahead for our family. Your comforting spirit continues to be upon our family, continue to be a blessing within our families and our plans for future and uh, what we have stored within our careers and the, everything within our, our families, especially Ruby and the children. As we prepare to head back, please continue to uh, guide us safely to our homes as we continue to mourn the passing of our beautiful Inari. Thank you for his life. We celebrate his life. Today we'll continue to honor his memories. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Then we're going to go all the way back up here, and then they'll come and bring the bigger and Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I just finished the prayer. I could feel a bit of a raindrop hitting my head. So, yeah. Save some flowers from the others. Thank you. Please save some flowers. I just want you up there. We've got a lady here. We'll take a... Words the Jenny, Nelson, and all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Speech. Good. No. <clears throat> Just first of all, um, yeah. I'm Minari's oldest child. I would like to say thank you for everyone that's, that's been here today. Not uh, much of a interviewer, but for my old man, I'll 
well, to say, rest in peace to, the, to my dad. Um, he was a loving, strong, humble man. Um, it's hard to express. My dad knows, maybe not by words, but in heart, his spirit, he will be, always be there for me, and I'll always be there for him. Um, my dad now is not in pain. He's now rested in a better place. Um, dad, love you, Dad. You'll always be my dad. I always put right there, I caught blood in me. You'll always be there for me. Love you, Dad. Cool. Hello, uh, I'm uh, Ingali's uh, second child, second owners of our siblings. It's hard to express what's, uh, what's going on. I just wanna, just wanna say I love you, Dad. You're in a better place, and I know you'll be with us, cheering us from the side. Uh, love you, love you, Dad. Talofalava Fanao. My name is Moana. I'm Inari's third child out of four and the oldest daughter. I just want to say thank you to all our families watching from afar um, in Australia and Samoa and in New Zealand for those who couldn't make it due to restrictions. Um, it's still hard to accept the fact that he's gone, but we know that he's spiritually still here with us so it's hard to find words to to express um our feelings and um yeah my dad as everyone knows was a caring humble selfless man um who really cared and loved his family um thank you dad for everything you've done for us for being there and making sure that we had every necessity and essentials at home. Um, I'll never forget you and I'll be thinking about you um, a lot. Um, I love and miss you dearly, Dad. La Faku. Hi everyone, my name is Tatiana Hilalako. I'm the youngest of all my siblings. And I just want to say a few thank yous to Dad. Thanks, Dad, for teaching us to be strong, for showing us what's right from wrong. Thanks, Dad, for showing us, uh, for giving us enough love and shelter, for sharing with us our tears and laughter. Thanks, Dad, for teaching us to stand on our own, for all the love and care you have shown. Thanks, Dad, for giving us support and inspirations, for guiding us in our debating and decisions. Thanks, Dad, for being responsible, kind, and hardworking, for lending us your time when we're concentrating. Thanks, Dad, for loving from your heart, and thanks, Dad, for hoping you'll be with us in heaven and not apart. Thanks, Dad, for showing us how, to, how a real dad should be, for you always cared for me, Mum, Henry, Greg, and Mona. What more can we ask from a great father like you? For special fathers like you are uncommon, and reduced to a few. Thanks, Dad, for showing us unconditional caring and love. For we hope you can read and hear this from above. Thank you, Dad. We love you.